Hello, people of the world. Oh, actually, I'm going to put these down. Hello, people of the world. This is Jason is Lost, and we've got another great unboxing for you. Today, we're going to be unboxing a load of Gundam Mecha Gunpla kits from Japan. Uh, a hobby that I was interested in getting into when I was there previously, but I didn't really have the spare cash or the time or even the room for a brand new hobby. Uh, but since returning from Japan, I've been looking online, places like Amazon, eBay, Japanese websites like Hobby Link Japan. They're still very reasonably priced, and what really appeals to me about the kits is that you don't need to paint them. You just build them straight out of the box, and they look fantastic. And as it's me, when I find something I really like, I get really invested, and I go a bit nuts. So I've bought a load of kits. Uh, I've got some tools for the building of the mecha, and uh, we're going to be making some future videos on unboxings and reviews uh, for these kits. Uh, so do subscribe, do stay tuned for the future videos. But for now, let's take a look at what I've got. Right, let's start small, because... The one thing I didn't prepare was a cutter, but I know that one of these packages is a cutter. That cutter would really come in useful. Oh, okay, yeah, um, side cutter. These are really handy for um, cutting the pieces off the runners. Ah, here we go, there we go. Razor blade cutter, really handy uh, for finer cuts on the uh, parts. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 this is uh, just another gun down pen. While you don't have to paint the kits, uh, you can really bring out the colors and the shapes, um, make them look so much more awesome, uh, just by running along the lines uh, that run throughout the kit. Uh, really handy, they're only about two quid. All right, so let's go on to the first box now. Uh, I've ordered from Amazon and eBay and Hobby Link Japan, so I've got no idea which is which. Uh, so it's gonna be a surprise for me, just as much as you. Again, just be careful. <laughs> cool. All right. So this is this first one. Yeah, the Hekiger. Um, let's get rid of the box. It was um, yeah, Hekiger. Uh, this is a kit, uh, a mecha from Iron Blooded Orphans, the anime. Um, just really, really like what really stood out for this one. Uh, the colours, um, the yellow and the green there, and also like the head looks a lot like um, uh, the Cyborg Ninja from Metal Gear Solid 2. Real cyborg ninja vibes there. I will say, I've, I've chosen really distinctive kits that don't look like anything else. So you've got the um, that huge mega Gundam, the classic one, it's all white and red and blue. Not really that interesting to me, uh, but stuff like this, uh, where they just look really unique, that's what I've gone, gone with. So that's the Hekiger from uh, Iron Blooded Orphans. All right, now the gray bag. Let's see what we've got here. Oh, sweet. Okay. So this, there's even more mystery here for you guys. Um, this is, I think it's called, let me see if I can get it out first. There we go. So this is um, a Graze, I think. It's uh, Carter's Graze Ritter. Uh, I believe the character is called Carter, uh, but it's called a Graze Ritter. It's like a, a, a customization of um, the greys. There's lots of different types of greys. This was the better looking one, I think. This HG, I should probably explain. HG for high grade. High grade is the most common line of um, scale of kits. Uh, the scale is one to one forty fourth, And uh, this is your mass produced line. So most of the kits uh, will come in at this line. Uh, reasonably cheap, some of them priced a thousand yen, some up to two thousand yen. Um, you'll get smaller kits and bigger kits, but this is the most common. Um, and more often than not, the larger kits are just larger versions of the most popular ones of these. This Grey's Ritter, I really love the colour on this, really unique. Um, I haven't really watched much of the show, I've watched about the first few episodes. I'm looking forward to this uh, coming in. The greys I've already seen, the basic greys, but then again, I, as far as I'm aware, throughout the series there's all different custom greyses. Um, so yeah, that is Carter's Greys Ritter. Okay, on to the third box. Oh wow, okay, cool. This is uh, <laughs> this is one of the, the most recent one that I ordered, and I was waiting for them all to come in. Uh, and this uh, looks fantastic. This is the um, DOM test type. Um, so this is a different series from the other ones. Um, I think it's only about a year old, maybe a year and a half old, this kit. Uh, but this is the origin. So they've gone back and made kits of some of the older um, mecha from the older shows, I believe. I'm not an expert yet, I might be totally wrong. Um, but it just looked so cool, uh, this uh, villain's um, 
they called it it's called a dom basically and uh but it has this huge rocket launcher it looks really cool in the black and white and it's got this red uh accents on the head there um yms 8b dom test type so it's like a prototype again hg high grade um uh, 144 scale uh, they're all made by Bandai, all of the uh, Gundam merchandise. Uh, this looks so cool. Okay, third box. They're getting bigger. Careful, careful, careful. Really glad these came in the same box because they are the two different coloured versions of the Hyaku Ren. Um, again, I think it's, yeah, Iron-Blooded Orphans. Uh, one is, so I believe this is just the typical one. The blue one is just the normal one. Um, the red one, the pink one is Amida's. Uh, again, I haven't watched the show far enough to know uh, who these characters are, what these mecha do. Uh, they could be good guys, they could be bad guys. Uh, but what really stood out for me was just the distinctive shapes, um, I think. Unfortunately, there's a, there's a barcode there on the red one. Let me put that down. But on here, I really loved the, the shape of the head, the shoulders. Um, it's got really thick thighs, I guess. Again, this is like one of the first kits that I saw over there. Um, just really caught my eye, really distinctive uh, shape. Uh, head. Um, I think that's going to be a lot of fun to put together there. And we've got the red one as well there. Okay, so let's get on to the last box, the biggest box. This is indeed from Hobby Link Japan. Uh, it looked like a really good site. There's a few different export sites based in Japan that send Gundam kits uh, all over the world. Uh, but I thought I'd go with these guys first, see how I get on. Careful, 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 careful. Okay, so what's inside? Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> Alright, the, the kits are huge in here. Um, these are all right to the bag. All right, let's let's grab this one first because this is this is actually the oldest kit uh, that I bought. This is the Gades, Gades, Gades. Um, again, HG um, one one forty four scale. Um, it's quite an old kit, two thousand and nine, compared to the other kits that I bought that are maybe three or four years old. Um, this is two thousand nine. This kit came out. Uh, but the actual kit itself looks fantastic. This is the HG uh, Gundam 00 line, I believe. I believe there was an anime show called Gundam 00, and that was about 2008, 2009. So for this kit, uh, such a unique kit. I'll put a picture up so you can see what I'm talking about. This one actually comes with a base, uh, which isn't very common. Sometimes they come with a base, but it's really, you know, usually they don't. Right, okay. So it was seeing this Gundam that actually made me think, you know what, let's go for it, let's get into this hobby, let's build some Gundam mecha, because this um, this is just the coolest looking thing I've ever seen. This is the Atlas Gundam, RX78AL Atlas Gundam, um, Gundam Thunderbolt version. The show is called Gundam Thunderbolt, uh, and I didn't know this, I, I didn't know this until the other date, but this is actually, I, I thought it was just, he used this skiff thing for travel, he's got a huge rail gun, uh, he's got machine guns and stuff. Uh, it, it, this is an underwater guy. This guy goes underwater. Um, so that was a first. I wasn't too sure about that. But he's just got so much kit on him. He's got this really bizarre arms and a, and a thing, a shield that you can fly on and stuff. Again, I haven't watched the show. I'm just looking at really cool looking Gundam kits. Uh, really unique looking kits and being so amazed that I, I want that kit. I want to build that. Um, so it looks... So astounding, I'm really looking forward to building this one. This was the one that made me uh, start buying these kits. Oh, there's something here, something extra here, before I show you that last gun down. Um, I wasn't sure I was gonna get this, but they had a sale at Hobby Link Japan, and this is simply a um, just a, a paper uh, wallet, paper folder for your stuff. What does that say? It's sumo, arigato. Oh, that's sweet. Always, thank you. Um, uh, but, uh, in fact, I'm not going to show you the Gundam. I'm going to show you this. This is a little wild card here. It, it was in the sale. It was a little um, 600 yen toy. This is a, a Minnow Koala. Uh, I've watched a bit of One Piece. I haven't watched that much. Uh, but I've seen this uh, character all over the place. Uh, and that's just a little um, sitting toy. What do you see up there? Yes. Amazing. Didn't even rehearse that. Super. Let's leave him there. I'm going to have to put this there in a sec. This is the um, last Gundam I've got here to show you. And it is the uh, Papa Guy. Let's get rid of the box. Uh, Papa Guy, this is, um, again, from a different line. Uh, build Fighters. 
Build fighters, um, whereas these Gundam are universes where people control the, the Gundam and they fight and stuff like that, this, is, this build fighters and the newer shows, um, build divers, <laughs> set in a universe where building this Gunpla and the love of, of Gundam is so great um, that people build their, their Gundam and they load them into a, a VR uh, battle scenario um, and they battle for victory, much like online gaming, essentially. Uh, but um, you can you can have whatever Gundam you want and fight each other. And that's why you've got this an entire line of, of really odd looking uh, Gundam, really unique Gundam that wouldn't really fit in the real world. But uh, people customize them and this is uh, Yuma Kosaka's uh, mobile suit. Team Tri Fighters. Again, a really, just a really unique uh, kit. I thought it'd be cool to build. Um, it's a grey bear with a top hat and a cane. And um, I don't really need to explain myself more than that. Um, but uh, it looks really cool. And um, yeah, I've, I've got no idea which one I'm going to build first. Okay, so just to recap there, I've got this little mini koala there. I'll put him there for the moment in the corner. Uh, but yes, so we've got the Papa Guy, we've got the Atlas Gundam, we've got the Gades, we have the normal uh, Hyakuren, we have uh, Amida's Hyakuren, which is uh, pink and red, and unfortunately it's got a little barcode there, but it's not a big deal. Uh, we've got this awesome looking Dom test type, and the uh, custom is like Carter's Grey's Ritter, so it's a custom Grey's, looks really cool, I love it. And lastly, the Hekija. Hekija. Uh, Hekija, I think it's considered one of the most easiest or, or more basic of all of these, I think. Uh, but again, just so distinctive. Love the colors, love the, um, the shape and the style there. So for each of these kits, we're gonna be doing an unboxing video. We'll take a look inside, have a look at the runners, see what to expect when you pick one up yourself. Uh, but we'll also do some uh, review videos once they've been put together. We'll take a look at them. Uh, I'm, I'm very curious to take a look at the reliance on stickers in some of these kits. Some of them, you might just get a couple of stickers. Some of them, are the more more intense looking ones, are very reliant on stickers I hear. Very much looking forward to taking a proper look at the boxes, uh, what's inside and putting them together of course. So do please subscribe to the channel, you'll be notified when the next videos are coming out. And I want to hear from you in the comments below. Maybe you're a mecha builder yourself and you've got some hints and tips that you can share with people, please do. Or maybe you know these kits, maybe you're, there's a particular one that you're looking forward to seeing, maybe you've built one yourself and you've got a bit of feedback for me, please do let me know. And please do subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying the content, if you want to see more and you want to be notified about when the next videos are coming out. Um, once again, thank you very much for watching. I'm Jason is Lost and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Hello, welcome.